Hi everybody, Stephen Flagg here, and welcome back to Flagcraft Sky Adventures. If you remember last time, we spent most of the episode making jerky, or something like that. It was... I, I think it was jerky. I th we've got four more to check on over there anyway to make sure that they're done. And uh, we decided we were going to finish off everything in the quest book in this food area. Now, I'm pretty sure we can do it, with the exception of this mushroom stew, because we have no mushrooms yet. And, uh, this chorus fruit. I don't know about the end cake either. I've never made an end cake. But, uh, I also said last week we were going to build, uh, and I believe it was an alloy smelter, so we could make a cake base. We're probably still going to build the alloy smelter, but I want to test something out first. Now, over here, I also said that I wanted a draconium chicken. I don't know if I showed you guys this yet, but this is all cleared out. I finished everything in there, and I've just got one chicken on the go right now, and I believe he's the pig iron chicken? Yes. He's at 666 right now. Now, I believe the pig iron chicken I need... Uh, there we go, and then click on uses. There, we need the pig iron chicken with the ender pearl chicken to make a draconium chicken. Then we'll have all the draconium that we need. What else can he make? Nice slime chicken with a uh, manual in. Really? Okay, we're going to need two of those pig iron eggs, and we're going to make a draconium chicken and a night slime chicken. I've never, I don't think I've ever used night slime. What else can night slime be used for? Night slime. What a weird name, night slime. All right, so let's go check out... <clears throat> If, uh, hey, guys, if my throat sounds a little weird today, it's, uh, my throat is a little sore. The, the issue is, uh, I, I injured my back yesterday at work. I actually had to leave. Uh, about 15 years ago, I had a disc removed from my back. So I've, I've been very, very careful with my back. And this is probably the worst injury that I've done to it in those 15 years. I just twisted, and I twisted the wrong way. And, uh, I believe I've got another herniated disc. Yeah, I've, I'm on some anti-inflammatories right now, uh, but I'm on no painkillers because I won't do painkillers. So uh, if I seem a little, a little edgy or a little loud, or my volume is going up or down, or my throat sounds scratchy, it's it's the it's the it's the back, guys. It's the back. All right, so let's <coughs> let's go back here and make sure the rest of our jerky is done. Fugu jerky. There we go. We got it. Fugu jerky. Clownfish jerky. Monster Jerky. Am I... Weren't there four up there? Salmon Jerky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Was it nine? This is just like when we did it last. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yeah, we did it. Hey, guys, we did it! Oh. Beef Jerky. Uh, quick complete! $25! And did it take it all on me, too? It did. That's okay, because none of it had an EMC value, so I don't care. I don't care! 653 smackers! Pardon me, I'm gonna clear my throat, guys. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So, uh, the cake. We were working on the cake, uh, stuff. The stuff cake base, and we looked at the cake base in here, and it said that we needed a cake base. It said that the only way to make a cake base is in an alloy smelter, which I think is is uh, bunk. It, I bet we just need some flour. And I believe flour is made by putting wheat into the old quartz grindstone. So let's put in half a thing of wheat, and we'll just sit here and we'll bang on this for a little bit. I wonder if I can make a an automatic one of these. First, let's see, let's see how much... Do we have any... Okay, we've got some flour now. Now, if I take this flour and I go over and I put it into my fridge, will it allow me to make a cake base that way? Because that would be awesome. There we go. Some flour in there. Actually, you know what? I should put the flour up here. There. All right, what do you got? Any cakes? No cake base. But I can't do dough. All right, let's let's do a... Okay, 
know dough is just made regular like that. Baked potato, baguette, big cut. Alright. Alright, I, I could have sworn I could have just done it like that. I can't remember why the cakes were in there in the first place last time. Oh well, no, it's all, it's all good. I mean, we needed to make the machines anyway, so I, I'm, I'm not too worried. Well, I want to make an automatic thing, though, to turn this, this wheat all into flour. Oh, there we go. Now, what is, uh, let me look at the flour again here. Quartz grindstone, pulverizer, or sag mill. Why don't we make a pulverizer? I'm pretty sure we can make a pulverizer right about now. Pulverizer. There it is. It's not too bad. Couple of copper gears, redstone reception coil, machine frame, flint. Oh, that's easy. Oh, I, I could do it all here, but I my crafting table's over here, so I do have to go over here. So, gear. Did I put copper gears in here? I believe I did. Couple of copper gears. Flower can't go in there, can it? No. And it's a redstone reception coil. Reception coil. And we're gonna need a couple of pieces of flint and a machine frame. Machine frame and flint. And it's a uh, yeah, a piston. A piston. That's what I thought. A piston. Piston. There we go. So here's our pulverizer. <laughs> well, not quite yet. Here's our pulverizer. Let's check the book and see if it wants it wanted us to make a pulverizer at some point in these machines. Where is the machines flag? Right there. Oh, God, there's so many. There's so many things here. Just look for the... Uh, I'm leaning right into the PC here so I can look at all of this stuff and see what what they look like. Hey, there we go. Pulverizer basic right there. Quick complete. Quick complete! It's another quest down. And now, let me just drop this like right... Okay, Flag, how do you want to do this, buddy? Um, yeah, let's try it right there. Oh, you got one of those, eh? I want your power to come in to the top. Uh, uh, <laughs> come on, Flag, stop being an idiot. an idiot. You're being an idiot. Okay, grab a, uh, not a relay, not a relay. Grab a connector. Not a relay. Flag. Not a relay. A connector. You dummy. We drop that on. Oh, hold that. There we go. Now let's see if this is going to work. Yep, worked great. And the power is building up, which means I can take all of this and just drop you right in there. And you should make a bunch of flour for me. On. Boom! There we go. We got our flour. Okay, so now that we got that going, we didn't even really need that. That was not part of what we were going to do today. <laughs> um, we wanted to make an alloy smelter, didn't we? So let's go for it. So we can make ourselves a cake base. Alloy smelter. Oh. Um. So it's this one I'm going to need, right? The alloy smelter? Not paint. Oh. 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 What is this? Holy crap. None of this stuff is... All right, so it's some dark steel. Three for an industrial machine chassis. Some dark bimetal gears. How do I make that? An infinity bimetal gear. How do I make that? Grains of Infinity with iron. We can do all of this. Let's do all of this, guys. Let's make ourselves an alloy smelter with all of this crazy stuff that we've accumulated over the last little while. If we catch anything. Some more puffer fish and raw fish. Okay, so uh, where, where are we going to start if we're going to build this? Uh, we're going to make these first, uh, these dark bimetal gears first. 
So uh, the Infinity bimetal gears are made with grains of Infinity, iron ingots, and iron nuggets. So iron ingots. Uh, let's just grab 12. Uh, and then we'll go for some iron nuggets. We'll go for, I guess, 20 or so. I should just grab a whole stack. I can just all throw it all back in later. Let's go for 20 for right now. And then we need that, what, what was that stuff called again? Uh, the grains of infinity. I know we have grains of infinity. There it is. So let's just grab maybe four of those. All right, let's make our gears. Infinity bimetal gears. So I'm going to need two infinity bimetal gears. One. Oh, come on. Or do I even need two? That has a, an EMC value flag. Did I already have one made? I think I already had one made. Because I didn't learn it. Well, well, that was interesting. So we have two infinity bimetal gears. Uh, to make those, we need dark steel nuggets. So we're going to need dark steel. Let's get some dark steel out. Let's just dump all that back in. I know I have dark steel. Let's grab... Uh, I don't know. 15. Then I'm going to take these 15. I'm going to drop one in there to make some nuggets. We're going to learn the nugget. Learned. And they're just made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need eight more nuggets. Dark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. And let's just do this. There we go. Two dark bimetal gears. Which is has an EMC value as well, so what was I worried about? I mean, it just doesn't show the uh, that it has an EMC value sometimes in JEI, perhaps. Just, could you guys die quietly, please? Look, I'm trying to actually do a, a, a serious Minecraft series over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to do a serious Minecraft series. Dark by Metal Gear, we learned that. So, dark. Grab one more, so we have it. Next up for the Alloy Smelter. We're going to need a cauldron and two dark steel ingots. We got that, so let's grab a cauldron. A cauldron. There is the cauldron. Then we need an industrial machine. Well, we need three. Let's grab three furnaces first, because I think we have to make that last thing. Three furnaces, and then an, an industrial machine chassis. Yeah, I do not have an industrial machine chassis yet. So, that is made. In an induction smelter? With an... No, no, stop it. Industrial machine chassis. Don't... Tell me I have to use... Industrial machine... Ch uh, okay, how do I make industrial... All right, let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. Industrial machine chassis. You need a simple machine chassis, which is some grains of infinity, iron ingots, and iron bars. Okay. So, grain of infinity. Uh, iron. Let's grab some iron ingots. It's like four, wasn't it? And then it's iron bars. There. Okay, so. We can make the simple one. Yes, just like that. Alright, there is our simple machine chassis. So let's drop that in there and learn that. Now it's telling me that I need to... <laughs> okay. Uh, it's... Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. In an induction smelter with some industrial dye blend. Okay, we need to make an industrial dye blend. So we need some... What do we got here? We got two crushed lapis, four 
crushed quartz. Alright, so I'm going to need lapis. Two crushed lapis. I'm going to need quartz. That's Certus Quartz. Uh, three, four of those. And then what do I need? Some organic black dye and some organic green dye. How do you make those? Organic black dye is made in an alloy smelter. <laughs> There's so... It's so confusing! Okay, I should be able to get the other dyes by just dropping this stuff into my pulverizer. Or the other dusts, I'm sorry. Let's just see. Okay, we got lots of flour. We got plenty of flour. Enough. Will you give me the crushed lapis that I need? Yes. Perfect. Okay, we'll get you out of there. Now we're going to put the nether quartz in there and see if that gives me the quartz dust that I need. Ah, coffee. Yes, it does. So, bejeweled. <laughs> um, I can make a simple alloy smelter with just a simple machine chassis, guys, and some stone gears. And then a regular alloy smelter is with the industrial machine chest. Okay, maybe we need to make a simple one. There's our nether quartz dust. Okay, let's maybe make a simple one, because we can use the simple one to make the advanced one. It's, it's, I, I don't know what's going on. I don't, I don't know what's going on anymore. There's too much going on. I'm, I'm doing 20 things at once. Give me a simple alloy smelter. How is that made? Some iron ingots, a couple of furnaces, a simple machine chassis, a bucket, and a couple of stone gears. Do I have stone gears? Of course I don't have stone gears. Of course, out of all of the things that I've made, I have not made a stone gear. What is that? Oh, that's a decoration block. Uh, a regular stone gear is just made with a wooden gear surrounded by... Yeah, it's just like that. It's just like cobble with sticks, Flag. Oop. Cobble. And sticks. Okay, this should make us a stone gear. I'm going to completely lose track of what we're doing, guys, because we're, we're just diving down this rabbit hole. Now, I'm going to learn the stone gear. We'll grab two of those. Simple alloy smelter. I need a... I got a bucket. I have a simple machine. Do I have a simple machine chassis? Yes, I do. Two furnaces and three iron ingots. Okay, so it's... Three iron ingots... Two stone gears, two furnaces, simple machine chassis, and a bucket. Okay, so that gives us the simple alloy smelter. So let's... Alloys and enemies. We'll learn that. Now this machine should help us to create the next tier. Hey, a simple alloy smelter right there. Hey, look at that! Yay! All right, in the end, we were actually doing stuff that we needed. In the end, we were doing it correctly. So let's drop this simple alloy smelter right here. Oh, looks great. Looks great. We're going to have to power that up. Do I have any? I do not have any of those. I need to make some connectors. Do I have connectors? Yes! We're just grabbing a whole stack of them. ourselves some LV wire coil. And I think maybe we can do one more coming from there. I think. I think. Oh, no. Wrong thing. Flag. There to there. Yay! It worked! And it's all powered up. We got ourselves a simple alloy smelter. Yay! Now, 
Uh, it's just a matter of remembering, uh, what I needed that for again, because you know, I just can't. Guys, we're doing, like, 20 freaking things at once here. Uh, <laughs> okay, no, actually, I know what we need to do. We need to move on to the next alloy smelter. See, when you come back next time, we're going to continue on, and, uh, this is all this work to make a cake. All this work to make a cake. God, that's why I don't cook. Check you later! Thank you.